What's going on, guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here, and yesterday was a doozy for a lot of people, but we're just going to try our best to keep it positive on this motherfucker. I'll give you guys my stance maybe later on in a potential live stream, but for now, there is something interesting in regards to Super Smash Bros., the Nintendo Switch, and the unreleased Cloud and Bayonetta Amiibo, and I think we still have to wait for the Corn Amiibo, too. Hopefully, Nintendo, I'm telling you right now. You better give us a female option. But this is something that might be sort of like, okay, we already knew this would happen, but it's nice to see confirmation in some way anyways, even if it is through leaks, which all of our information for the Switch has basically been confirmed ahead of time with fucking leaks. So let's take a look at the Nintendo Everything article real quick. This, of course, will be in the description, as I usually do. And if the title says here, Super Smash Bros. Port coming to the Switch, time with the remaining Smash Amiibo. So... I mean, just reading the title alone, some people might get a little bit upset because they were waiting for the Amiibo and now that they're not going to happen within this year, it's going to be pushed probably back into March or April. I'm a little disappointed behind that because I really wanted to get my hands on the Bayonetta Amiibos, man. I know they must have a super crazy amount of detail put into them, but let's see what the reasoning is for this in the article itself. So, update. Okay, so we have an update to this thing, but let's read what the actual article itself is saying here. So, Laura... Kate Dale. Now, if you don't know who Laura Kate Dale is, you're kind of slacking, my boy. This girl basically predicted everything with the Nintendo Switch, not to mention a bunch of other people did so as well, but Laura was on top of her game. I don't know what kind of fucking insider she has. It's got to be goddamn Bill Trennan himself or something. Please, please don't harass Bill. That's just a joke, all right? I don't actually mean that, so leave that nigga alone on Twitter. That's Big Bill right there. Give him some respect. But Laura was ahead of the game, man, and when the Switch was revealed, everyone was like, you're a prophet. Let's take a look at the article. It says, Laura Kate Dale, who's provided numerous reports on the Switch, has stated that there is a port of Super Smash Bros. coming for the Wii, excuse me, for Wii U coming to the Switch. She notes that the port is not targeting a release window, but rather the first six months of the console. So how do you guys feel about this? I was somewhat anticipating that Smash would be available right away on the console, and if it wasn't available on the console, that when it does finally come around, maybe it would be like a Smash Brothers DX, D DX edition or something, where it would have like a bunch of characters, all the DLC unlocked, and maybe even some new characters thrown in there. But maybe the article mentions something else about that. She also states that the remaining Smash Brothers series Amiibo, specifying Cloud and Bayonetta, will be releasing around the same time as the port. She did not provide any information on if the port would include any new content such as characters, so that much is up for even more speculation. And some of you guys should not get disheartened by this. Even though she didn't know if there would be new characters, it doesn't erase the chance that there might be. I know there's a lot of people that are pushing for the Ice Climbers or Wolf. If you've been around my channel for any amount of time, you know I'm pushing for Wolf big time. My nutsack rides on it. This is something important for everybody who's in regards to Smash because it also mentions, well, I didn't, I didn't see it in this article, but I saw something else that mentioned GameCube controllers and the fact that there's really no compatible way to have a GameCube adapter hooked up to the Switch as we know currently. I don't know if Smash for Switch is going to necessarily fly, necessarily fly, but maybe it'll be on a competitive level with the um, Pro Controller. That's something that Obi-Wan said as well, but time will tell. At this point, if the Switch does get Smash Brothers, I can't see it becoming the standard way to play the game in tournaments due to just wireless interference. I've seen it myself, and you know, I usually prefer using the 3DS controller in my games, and it's absolutely unusable within a tournament setting. It's all choppy, it's fucked up. So guys, what do you think about this? Smash Brothers is pretty much confirmed at this point to be a 100% guarantee on the Nintendo Switch as a Director's Cut Edition with all the DLC unlocked. It's actually pretty handy because the DLC in Smash Brothers, when you add it all together, it's actually more expensive than the goddamn game itself. I mean, I did the edition. I mean, you can look it up right now. I think it's like over $100 just for all the DLC. So this is definitely a welcome addition to the Switch library. But if there is no significant new content being added like stages or characters, I can't imagine that it would be within a release window of six months after the console comes out. Why would they need that extra six months if it's just basically getting transferred over to the Switch from the Wii U with just all the DLC added on? That seems like it would be somewhat of an easy job, but then again, I'm not a game designer, so don't take my word for it. This might just be a bit of hype mongering on my part. But maybe that little release window could be for them to develop extra content for the Switch port of Smash Brothers Wii U. They gotta be putting a little bit of extra special sauce in there. So even if it isn't special characters, we can expect something different, something new to make the appeal of getting Smash again on their newest console attractive. 
But that's just my two cents on it. What do you guys think? Do you think Smash Brothers on the Switch is going to include new characters and new stages to add to the appeal? Or will it just be a port with all the DLC? Nothing else. I want to hear them in the description. Or rather the comments. I'll talk to you guys later on. Everything here will be in the description. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one. Or at least try your best to. Trump's fucking president. Peace.